and uh, we're gonna see if we can get anything. What was that? Did something happen on this bed that I'm sitting on right now? What's up everybody? My name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Tonight I am joined by my best friend, Sunny Deeds. If you don't know his channel, link is in the description. Tonight we have actually come to a place that I didn't really think we'd ever be at. I never thought we would be at someone's actual house. Now, the reason why we're at someone's actual house is because this is a family who has been terrorized by some sort of entities. Good or bad, we're not really sure right now. That's why we're here. We're here to investigate. This family is literally on the verge of moving out of this entire house, and we've come. We've been requested many, 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 many times to come here, and we finally are going to do it. So um, this is kind of something we felt really compelled to do, and that's why we're here. So tonight, we're taking this investigation even more serious than ever because there is a family that is definitely being terrorized and haunted by something. So we're going to find out what that something is. We're going to find out if we can get answers, and we're also going to see if we can just go ahead and say, hey, listen, this is good or bad energy here, and then we'll decide what we need to do from uh, from that on point. So uh, without any further ado, I love you all so much. Let's get going. Surprise, surprise. Hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. That means a couple important things. Either means that you're going to go out to dinner with your significant other, or you're probably going to be sitting on the couch, Netflix, and chilling by yourself. You can go to the link in my description. You can get wallets like this right here for yourself or your significant other. It's literally the perfect gift. And guess what? You get a promo off of it because they're allowing me to give like money away. It's kind of cool, actually. These big, thick wallets that we used to have back in the day, that's 1990. You need to get up in 2020 and get yourself a Ridge wallet for you or your significant other. Now, back to the video. So this family has been literally traumatized from moving into this house and they've lived there for a couple of years now and in the how I met this family was I actually used to live in this neighborhood. Uh, it's pretty much townhouses they all look the same and little do you know that each one has its own story and I think that's what's really difficult for me to get over is that this family is, is truly traumatized by this as I'm, as I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm thinking to myself I'm like I don't even like mentally know how they're going through this so for them to ask me to come and do this I felt very compelled to do so the first thing I asked them I said well let me get your interview on camera I said we'll set up like a sit-down interview in your living room and they said absolutely not they don't want to be on camera uh, mainly because they don't want to be judged and ridiculed by everyone because if you don't believe in this stuff and the paranormal and you've never experienced it their story is a little crazy I, I will say that but as I'm editing this footage I've got two screens in front of me I'm sifting through footage I'm trying to look for different things that are happening in the background listening for those different sounds holy crap it's unreal this video that you're about to watch is absolutely unreal. So uh, I did respect the family's wishes of not having them on camera. I wasn't gonna try to like sneak record anything in their house. Um, I truly am here to help them figure out what in the world is going on inside of this house. Sunny and I are gonna go ahead. We're gonna split up. Um, we're gonna take different floors at different uh, times here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get a jump start. He's got a few things he wants to set up on his camera. I think he's gonna be doing a lot of this in infrared. We're keeping the lights off, just kind of trying to see. Uh, just kind of brings out the creep factor as well. But as you can tell, this is a very nice home. This is not a home that I would think is haunted, but we're gonna see tonight and I don't know. So anyway, Deedster, good luck, my man. <laughs> So this is um, this is uh, probably one of the more nicer and upscale homes. And and here's what I've actually heard about this type of situation: is that like your your house can be haunted and it can be brand new. You you can like almost never you know live a single night in a house and it actually be haunted. So 
Actually, there's a baby seat right there. It's a little weird and creepy, but right up through here is where this room is. Um, the owners told me if I go up here to be extremely cautious. So um, I'm going to explore around first, but I just want to take you all on a journey so you all get the layout of the house pretty much and you all know what's going on. Okay, that's just the uh, water heater again. Okay. okay, it's sunny down there. When that door slammed, my uh, my camera went off because I think my I was holding it with my sand, and I think I like I'm not gonna hold my hand like that anymore because it turned my camera off. Hello? Holy shit, there's a devil goat on a pillow. That is a devil goat. Oh no, that's a cow. That's a devil cow. Oh my gosh, that's creepy as hell. And that's a mouse. Oh, it's like a devil mouse or like a devil something. So instantly, it's got to be, without even joking around, it's got to be 10 or 15 degrees colder in this room than anywhere else inside the house. This is the worst part, too, of exploring when you have a curtain. Um, Alright, makes it feel a little bit better. Um... I'm going to do a quick merch plug. If you see this shirt right here and you want to check it out and you want to buy it as well, go to the link in the description, shopmotivated.com. It's going to be on sale for the next 48 hours. What? I'm up here. Do you need a, do you need a braid for your hair or a little tie for your hair? Because I just found one. Oh, goodness. Where are you at? Over here, what? <clears throat> okay. Okay, we'll put that back. I feel haunted even just touching that. So, um, not to make light of this situation, but uh, a person was actually hung in this room. They hung themselves in this room. So, um, I definitely wouldn't keep a baby thing in here, but that's not really my choice. Um, but as you can see, there's some baby wipes. I know a lot of you all are going to actually question, well, where is the family while we're doing this investigation? Uh, they have paid for a hotel that, gonna, that they're going to stay at for the next two nights. Um, they're going to come back during the day to, you know, grab a few things if they need anything, but... Um, all through the night tonight and tomorrow night, this is all of ours to go and investigate, explore around, see what we can come up with. Again, this is about helping the family more than anything. And um, I really need your all's help. If you see anything in the background, if you hear anything in the background, comment below, let me know. This is definitely going to be a really, really in-depth investigation that I don't want anyone to miss out on. And uh, Sonny, where are you at? <clears throat> oh, okay, I'm hoping he's in here. Oh my gosh, you scared the ever-living shoo shiitake out of me. Oh my gosh. What? No, I've been over there the whole time. Is that up there? Yes. Hello? Is there anybody here? No, they're at the hotel. They say... They say that they hear like footsteps all the time. That's what I heard. That's what I've been hearing. I can hear some creaking, but it's... it's I'm looking at some of the creaks, but this is over my head. Okay, 
See, there's French doors up there. Hello? That's over there now, isn't it? I'm here. It's, I'm hearing footsteps. I don't... Wait, where was that you walking? No, not that. That was over in this way over here. And then there's... Okay, that's you there. not done anything to provoke any spirits so far. We haven't broken out a Ouija board. We haven't broken out a spirit box. Listen to that. Oh, this is a creepy ass little place in here. Hello? Is there anybody here? Every single one of them got in the van and drove away. If there's anyone here, make yourself known before we come up here. What? <laughs> I don't know or what. They got damn elevator in this son of a bitch. Oh my gosh, there's an elevator. Oh, shit me sideways and call me Sally. Let's ride this thing, come on. Dude, this is crazy. Who has an elevator in their house? Okay, How do we make it go? Does there a key that we have to have or something? What if we get stuck? I don't. Oh! If that, I, it might have been the elevator, bro. I don't know. That was a loud ass noise. Dude, we're in the elevator. That wasn't in here. No, like, you know how elevator, like, makes, like, that noise? You should close, close the door and let's see if we can. Yeah, close the door. This might be the dumbest thing we've ever done. We're in a damn house elevator and there's no one here to save us. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Are we gonna fall? I'm pretty sure we're not meant to be in this. What's your idea? Are we going to hell? I think we might be. This is the longest elevator I've ever. Second floor. Oh, jeez. See if you can open this thing. No, I'll we'll fall out. See, you stopped us. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's a big gap. Yeah, you stopped us. You gotta close it. Oh. I was thinking it'd be cool to, like, see what it looks like in between. See? Okay. That's where it do we have to turn it off? I wonder if we flip the switch back on if we'll go up.
Hello? Oh, you gotta make me. Hold this. Dude. Alright, let's go back up. Let's go back up. That door's clearly there's something behind the door. Okay. We're going back up now. Dude, we're stuck. Do I have to flip that back on? We are stuck in the elevator. Why? Why does the weirdest shit have to happen to us? <laughs> no, we have not What if I... You went, went, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Look, the door handle's up here. This is crazy. Yeah, I've never done this on an elevator before. Okay, that one's not Yeah, even. maybe it's a safety thing where you can't open the freaking door when the elevator hits. All right, let's That's keep going up. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now it don't sound right. You hear that? What's the weight limit? 950. We should be okay. 950. <laughs> Where are we going? Where's this thing taking us to? A2? You want to look again? Where are we trying to go? Up or down? Um, we're trying to go to the third floor. Okay, where the hell oh, are look, the look, first floor? It's moving, floor? it's moving. We gotta go up. It's three. We're down here oh, on the first shit. floor again. Why do we go back down? Holy mother of Jesus. All right, I'm not touching that it's anymore. It's a good thing you're not paying. I know, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, we're such a man job. <laughs> That's weird. Me too, though. Oh, they got a light bulb burning out. ABB much? Yeah. <laughs> we're only on the second floor. Oh, Mike, we were already here. We could have been there by now, but you took us down. I know. I'm like a kid at a candy store. I don't like touch shit all the time, but... Okay. All right, we're back now. Was that you? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god. There's something that way. Oh, I'm sorry. My Oh, my thumb toe. You're, you're blurry, by the way. Oh. Oh. <sighs> ah. Um, ah. You want to call 911? No. You good? Yeah. <laughs> then get up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> It's Robin. Just want to let everybody know, my thumb toe is okay. I might lose the nail, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, bro. It hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that little devil pony. <laughs> okay. Look, it even has sixes. Look. to his feet now, and we're going to try to continue this. What have you seen now? It's a devil pony. A devil pony. A devil unicorn or something. Like, it's got a six and a six. Got some pretty fly shoes. Bob. Probably shouldn't be touching their stuff. <laughs> what? What is that? Is there a gear thing on the wall? <clears throat> I don't know. You are just really blurry for a second. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a chill in this one, too. It's a little cold, not gonna lie. I 
hate going in people's closets. I always feel really weird. Oh, son, it's a nice ass bathroom. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a naked woman. <clears throat> it's just colder up here. It's not like anything else. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's not really like it's... I don't feel really like anything strange up here. Just but, just I'll tell you what. Have you coolest. have you gone down to the second floor to um, the uh, big bedroom where the uh, girl hung herself at? Have you gone down there? Yeah, I have. I was getting ready to move there. Now, I've had to switch over to the night because my first light has died, it's dying, it's getting very dim. <clears throat> but, um, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, so, there is a room um, that is up on the second Are you floor. gonna go to that part? Yeah, I think I'm gonna head there now. Okay, I'm gonna explore up here. So, um, Sunny and I are breaking off, and he's gonna go explore one area, I'm gonna go explore the other. Anything good in there? Nope. So just here shortly, I'm gonna break out the uh, the Necrophonic app, and hopefully you'll enjoy that because um, I've been starting to use that on a couple of investigations. This room right here was actually where the little sister used to live. So there are two previous owners of this place. Um, not exactly sure the history of the uh, second owners, but the third owners here now swear that this place is extremely haunted. And that they are on the verge of moving, so. So as I, I'm going through these rooms, I'm trying to just get a general vibe of how I feel. I'm going to try and, um, <coughs> I'm going to try and do the, uh, the necrophonic app here in just a few minutes. Now, this bedroom here has some very, uh, delicate type history. I will say that the history that was involved in this room here was that, um, Supposedly, if you lay down on this bed, you will feel like you're being strangled at some point in time in the night. So really, really strange. Um, that's exactly what people have felt when they come and sleep over. So this is our guest bedroom. And the family always says that all the guests have experienced something extremely strange and weird. So I'm not really sure um, basically what all could be going on in this room. And hopefully we're going to find out tonight. But... Um, I don't know. Just uh, I don't know if I really want to press my luck doing that. But then again, there's only one way to find out if that is actually true or not. Okay. Nobody's yep, getting in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use my phone light here. Just a second. Because I feel like my normal camera light is not bright enough. So, um, if this light over here dies, I'm going to have to go to this light on my phone. Um, because I've been having some trouble with this light ever since we first got here. Oh my goodness, what is that? Oh my gosh. It's a really tall shower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who in the hell would have that in their house? That is a damn weirdo ass monkey. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's demonic looking.
dude, my freaking back is starting to hurt in this room. This is, is the really? room, correct? Yeah, this is the room where she hung herself. This, as soon as I walked in, I start getting this freaking pain in my back. Really? Just like it took a couple other places. It's almost like it's harder for me to breathe up here. All right, here. Let's set up our... Uh... <clears throat> I'm going to set up the Necrophonic app. And again, some of you all really like that, uh, this app, because it, um, it's a little bit more clear. It cuts out that ch -ch 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 noise. And uh, thankfully it does, I should say. Um, right down. What was that? You hear that? Yeah. What is that? So I'm going to use this app, it's called Necrophonic, and uh, we're going to see if we can get anything. Bro, what the f*** was that? That's good. Where did that come Who just made that noise? Speak to me through the app, the Necro... How many spirits are here with us? No. Dos? That means two. Did it just said two as well? What's your name? What's your name? Can you tell me your name? Tell me your name. What is your name? Nathan. It is a girl, but there might be another spirit in here. Four. It just said four. What? What is your name? I've heard Nathan twice. What is your name? What's the girl's name who died in this room? Perhaps a little kid. Yeah. That was a girl. What what's the little girl's name who who hung herself in this room? What is that? I'm gonna stop the app. What is that? I'm gonna start the app back again. Help. Said help instantly. Um. Hello. <clears throat> my name is CJ. I'm here with my friend Sonny. We want you to make a noise. We want you to communicate with us. Is there anybody who wants to communicate? Now it's pure silence. Is there anyone who wants to communicate with us? Make a noise. Make yourself known. Be friendly. Oh, man, I was just really blurry all of a sudden. I was really blurry all of a sudden. Yo, you keep holding your back. You alright? <laughs> hey, hey. Make yourself known if you want to communicate with us.
Make yourself known. So right now, I'm, I'm mainly just, I heard something that sounded like a metal pipe, like, dum, 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 dum. I'm here with my, my friend Sonny. We're here to investigate. We're here to get answers. We're here to learn what happened here. We're here to see if you want to move on as a spirit. We're here to see and make sure that this family can live here in peace without you basically torturing them. There was a stairwell that went down the other other way there. Yeah, Where does that go? That leads to downstairs. But I heard some noise over here. Like it was almost upstairs again. Is there anyone up here with us right now? Make yourself known. If you're a spirit and you want to communicate, that's all you have to do. Got blurry. <gasps> that was back there. That was back here. Bro, that was back here. Hello? Is there a spirit that wants to communicate with us? If there's anyone who wants to talk to me, speak through the spirit box that I have on my phone right now. Just speak through. Anyone who wants to talk to me right now? Okay, right now I'm not really getting, um, I'm not really getting any vibes. Um, I'm getting weird vibes, don't get me wrong, but I'm not getting anything on the spirit box, is what I'm trying to say. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to see if I can lay down on this bed and um, see if, you know, if something happens to me. Obviously, I um, am not going to sleep right now, but I just want to try and communicate with a couple of spirits right now. That thing is cold. This is, the, this is the bed that they, um, that they feel like they are getting choked on. All right. So this is a guest bedroom, so I'm just laying down just seeing Are you I'm okay here. here for a minute? Because I'm going to run down. I'm going to charge my batteries. I'm just going to take a quick break. Hey, my back is freaking killing me right now. Holler, man, if you need me, I'll be All right, right cool, cool. Um, so uh, what I'm going to try and do here is this, is I'm going to try and just see if I can get anything to communicate with me in this room. And what I want to mainly do is invite a spirit in. And I want to invite the spirit to touch me in some sort. I want to invite the spirit to be able to communicate with me openly here. So I'm trying to take this investigation a little bit more properly and thorough than normal ones because it's actually helping a family out. So. <clears throat> yeah, there's a car going by. I want to welcome any spirit in here with me. I want you to feel open to communicate. I want you to feel open to, to touch me. You have permission to touch me. I want to know if this is actually true and if this is actually real or not, that this house is truly haunted. I feel that there are some energies here and I want you to make yourself known in a very peaceful way.
Uh, this is my little sister texting me. This late at night. Um, so, I uh, just want to give a shout out to my little sister, Logan. Um, you should definitely be going to bed right now, but, um, just laying down on this bed, I kind of got instantly tired. Um, I feel that the vibe in this room is a little off. Um, it's almost like the, the spirit or the presence in this room is not, like, hatred. I, I feel like it's not anything evil. I, I actually think that this is something um, more like trying to get your attention. Because um, I just feel like there's just something in the room. So um, I'm going to break out the Necrophonic app. Um, clearly, as you see, I did not just get choked there or anything crazy. But um, let's break out this app here and see what we can... Um... Are there any spirits here in this room with me right now? Yes. Okay, we just got a yes. Is there anything that you want to tell me? I'm going to sound like no. Will you talk to me? Will you talk to me? Almost sounded like a sore. Um, are you male or female? Are you male or female? Are you, are you good or are you evil? Do you mean harm to this family? Are you the one that is haunting this family? So I think what I want to do now is I want to break out my other spirit box, the one that has like that ch -ch 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 noise, um, simply because the answers aren't coming in as clear as they normally would on the uh, Necrophonic app. So I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to go get the spirit box. Okay, that definitely wasn't you then. So I turn my camera to walk off to the other room, get my spirit box set up, right? Check this. As soon as I walked away, I thought like you brushed the back of my neck, man. No joke. Man, it literally felt like somebody just took their hand right across my neck. Like, I don't know if it felt good or it felt creepy, but it's borderline both. Be straight up with you. That was really strange. As soon as I turned off my camera to walk in here, I just felt like something grabbed the back of my neck. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I'm going to turn this on here, and then I'm also going to use... Uh, the, the necrophonic app again and just see uh, just see if we can pull anything out see if we, see if we can pull any information out of here <laughs> alright okay obviously right now we're getting a pretty good reading seems like here on the uh... I want to know your name what was your name Dan Dan sounds it's telling Dan twice um Who, who is haunting this family that lives here? That almost sounded like a all. Oh. What is your name? Almost sounded like a Chris. I don't know. What is your name? Who, who are you? Can you, can you tell me? Why you are haunting this family? Tell me why. Can you can you answer my questions? Are you willing to communicate with me? And what? Oh, Dan. I feel like the name Dan has come up a couple times. 
Is your name Dan? Jump. It said jump twice, and that sounds dirty. Did something did something else bad happen here? Bed. It just said bed. Did some did something happen on this bed? Did something happen on this bed that I'm sitting on right now? Was that a yes? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Sonny? That wasn't you then. Yo, my freaking door just slammed, bro. My door just slammed closed. What's your name? Who slammed the door? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the, the candles just came on. What is going on right now, man? I don't know. I heard a thump, but I didn't know what that was. Is, that... is there anyone here? That candle went off. Is there anybody here with us right now? Something said me. It just went out. Oh gosh. There's something off of that candle. Dude. Is there anyone here with us right now? I want to know your name. I want to know who just slammed this door. I want to know who just slammed my door that I was just in this room with. Who slammed that door? Who was with me in this room? Tell me your name. Oh man, I'm terrified to even go back in here, dude. Sonny. Bro, Dude, I'm this, light, this this candle. Look, look at it. It's, it's steady on and off. Why in the world? Dude, there's something. I'm not even kidding. There's got to be <clears throat> something seriously like messed up with this place, man. Like something really, really bad happened here. Because there's no way that you had this weird energy like this randomly and it's only in a really nice house, dude. And it's only up here. I know. It, I've not felt anything weird on the third floor or the first floor. It's the second floor is like what's getting me more than anything. Does anything want to communicate with me? I want to know your name. I want to know who you are. Who just closed that door on me right there? Who just closed that door? Who just closed that door? No one. Neil. Neil. Did Neil close the door? Did Neil close the door? Someone communicate with me. Man. <coughs> right now, I, I don't even know what to really say, dude. I was here. This is how I was. I got my camera set up right here. It's that way. I want to look at the look at the meter. It's going crazy right now. Dude, is your phone doing that? No. Uh uh. See? The gone. Going off and it's gone. Gone. <laughs> I want to know who is with us. What is the name of the spirit with us right now? Paul? Yes. Is this Nathan or is this Sandra or Paul? Is this Sandra that's messing with us right now? No. No. Well, what's your, what's your name? Oh, it's 
Inside? Oh. I feel like I've heard the name Paul a couple times. Is this Paul? Is this Paul? Why are you haunting this family? Why are you haunting this family? Tell us. What's wrong? I said back. Dude, my back is freaking hurting. Really? Oh, sit down, sit down. <laughs> I want to know who is... I want to know who's doing this to the family and why. That's why we're here. We're not here to mean any harm. Alright, dude. There's no way that there is any type of HVAC system with that much suction to slam that door. That was the door dude, that started. door, it was like this, dude. It, it's, it just was like, wham! I could hear, I could hear a thump down in that room, but I wasn't quite dude, sure it, because it, of... It slammed. It's like an NFL player, like a, 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 like a wrestler or something like, just boom, right into the door. I don't, I don't get it. And this man. was the this was her room? No, this is the guest room. So like if you're if you okay. lay down here, you're supposed to actually um you, you can actually feel someone like try to choke you in your sleep. People have felt like they get they're they're touched in this room and they're choked in this room. And that's why like no one wants to stay over at this place anymore. The whole family's being terrorized. And not only that, but the guests that come over Yeah, things are going crazy right now. The guests that come over will not stay in the house anymore much less this bedroom so i don't know but i'm telling you right now that that's not normal yeah, yeah i wouldn't stay in that's there. not normal i wouldn't stay in here yeah. sorry to mess up your spirit box oh, no, that's like, okay. you, you can go, go back, back to, to pick up but yeah but still i mean that's even i mean dude we're just getting more mm. and more evidence to yeah that. To uh, I mean, I earlier think, walking yeah. around, I was hearing creaking and things like that. But that well, I, I can say that was me creaking on the floor. But the things that we've heard, um, and, and uh, obviously, except the door, guys, don't just go and hit up CJ's channel so you can catch it. Did you catch it on camera? I don't know. I, I don't know. To be honest with you, I think I was sitting in front of like the. I was sitting like dead in front of the camera, so okay. I don't know. I'd have to look, but oh my gosh, my heart rate is just now coming down. Yeah. Like, you know, I get people like, okay, so we get a lot of you who comment all the time. Well, you're asking something to happen and then you're scared when something happens. Well, how about you get yourself here and put yourself in this situation, okay? <laughs> Bro, you know, I gotta, we're, I gotta, I gotta walk. My back is killing me. Okay. Like, we're, we're here. We're the ones that are investigating this. If you want to go out and investigate, please, please be my guest. Go and do it, but... Um, this here is, as I'm trying to really get answers, I'm trying to pull answers out because that's what this is all about tonight is finding answers for this family so they can either live in peace or they can just go somewhere else. Because at this point here, I kind of feel like I know what the family's dealing with. And this is only night one. Sonny, is the light still going off? Sonny, is the light still going off? Wait, it's completely turned off? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's weird. If there's anyone with us, make that candle light turn on. Use all your power. If you're a spirit who wants to communicate with us, light that candle up. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, dude, it's probably it's probably the bulb or something. That's what I'm thinking. The bulb ain't screwed in or something. Crazy, and now it's so that might not possibly be. But yeah, I don't know. That's really strange, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in here and pick up. Look at this. Look at that. I'm staring at the candle. Come over here with your camera. Low battery, right there. My battery's flashing. Oh, yeah. 
Man. All right, let me go down here and get another battery. So, what I want to do... Oh, it's starting to flash. Look, 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 it's starting to come back on again. Look at this. Is there a spirit here with us? Oh, shit. Yeah. Make this light turn on again. Use your energy. Use your energy. Okay, that is really, really weird. Oh man, that's strange. All right, so we gotta figure out. Did you say my name? All right, he's in here, Miss One. The app. That light's flickering back out there again. As it mine's almost dead again. Is it really? And this is a totally different light. But it, I, I Look, swore, it's dimming down right now. You can see it. Yeah. I swore it just said, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. You are not permitted to follow me, CJ, or attach yourself to any of our equipment Agreed. once we leave. Do you understand? Um, That's creepy. Dude, I heard a bang that come from that area over there. Oh, I feel weird laying down on this bed right now. Yeah, I would. I feel weird laying on this bed right now. I feel really weird laying on this bed. Is it weird that there's a playpen? A little bit, yeah. Or bat, what is that called? Is that a crib, portable crib? I think it's one of those stroller things. It's not a stroller, dude. It's not on wheels. <laughs> What's a stroller then? A stroller's what you put a kid in. For strolling. Huh? Yeah, a stroller. stroller is what you put a kid in. This is what you put a kid in. You're not going to put a human in that. Hey, well, well okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. What? Oh, what the hell was that? Go, go, go. What is that? Dude, the friggin' candles back on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it says. Look, 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 look. The elevator. Oh Dude, shit, it stopped it too! Somebody's in the elevator. Now that won't open. I don't wanna break it. Alright, close that back. Let's see if we can do it again. Now it's locked. I don't get it. Dude, this thing. Is it? Oh, it's on some kind of thing up there. Alright, uh, yeah, there's no way. Alright, I don't want to break it, but like, how are you supposed to unlock it? Uh. Alright. That's impossible. Why the hell did it just go off on its own? Um, we were clearly in there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Dude, I'm blurry as shit. Which way is it going up or down? Look at the number. It's down on the first floor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's been no, no. Call floor. it back up, call it back up. We'll see if anything comes out of it down here. All right, hang on. Ready? Yeah. One, two. It's locked. Shit. Okay. What the hell, dude? Let's go up that way. Let's go up that way. And let's see if we can figure out if like, honestly I don't even know. I'm low-key shitting bricks right now. Why won't that open? Yeah, dude, you're gonna break the 
fucking handle and we're gonna have to pay for it. We're gonna have to explain why we're trying to get in the elevator. Yeah, well, if we, you know, think that there's a damn ghost uh, riding the elevator. Maybe that's what they do for hobbies here. Who knows? But that's weird. Alright. I'm gonna go up this way here. Hey, go up the stairs. Go up the stairs and I'm gonna go this way here. And let's meet in the middle. Why would they even this door? The elevator came down here. There's no way to get it back up if we can't open it up. When you go up, hit the hit the two button. Hit the hit the hit the button. Or I guess it's not two, just hit the button when you go up. What? Gosh, it smells horrible up here. See, something's not right. Because it's blinking one. That means it's on the first floor. Yeah, I know, but why would it be? Because whatever it was just took the elevator down. Listen. Listen. Is it possible for a ghost to ride an elevator? I'm just asking for a friend. It's possible to be a ghost, so I guess they can buy the elevator. We're gonna break these people's elevator, and we're gonna have to pay for an elevator. All right, that's strange as hell. That was up. Oh shit! God damn it. It's up. Hello? Yo, that door's open. That door's open. It's still flashing on. It's coming up again. What floor is it going to? You, you stay right there. I'm gonna go to this one. It says three. No, it says two. Hang on. Anything happening? What the? F Where's it going? 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 Yes. Why did you fall? I'm not even. I'm not even messing with you right now. I was just pulled down the stairs, bro. I literally just pulled down the stairs. Holy shit! Damn it. Bro, there's nothing in this elevator. Oh, no, no, no. Yo, I'm panicking. I'm telling you right now, I was literally like pulled down the stairs, bro. I'm going up the stairs and just get yanked the other way down. Literally yanked the other way down. There ain't no trip wires or no dumb shit. And there's no way that even happens. Oh god, okay. I started closing. It's all way. What should we do? Maybe I'll ride it to the second floor and see if it opens up. Alright. Alright. Oh, this is dumb. You shutting that door? Yeah, I guess so. Oh my gosh. really might be dealing with something much more serious than what we think we are. Like, this family has pleaded and begged me to come here and do this investigation. 
Okay, what the hell? What the hell? I wasn't doing anything. I pushed the button. I heard it. I heard you. Why does it do that? Does the elevator just maybe like go up and down to like keep itself like, you know how you gotta start a car up every once in a while just to make sure the battery don't go dead? Like maybe that's what you gotta do with an elevator. Or maybe they're programmed to do that or something. Place with a freaking elevator. No, no but this family know. damn sure does, man. Man, this is so weird. I, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm deathly terrified right now of what pulled me down those stairs. Well, I'd be shitting bricks too. So, <clears throat> Sonny just got back up here. He uh, got a new battery, and we we decided pretty much that what we're gonna do next is <clears throat> we're just gonna we're gonna end the investigation off and. Um, for the night, at least. Um, being pulled down the steps the way that I did, I, I will really tell you this, that it, it has genuinely kind of shaken me. I don't, <clears throat> I don't feel comfortable staying here, but then again, I'm very uncomfortable even just in certain rooms. So, um, I don't know. I just, um, if you want us to come back here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna ask permission to stay overnight, maybe a, a, another night. We have this, um, you know, place for two nights technically to investigate. Uh, <clears throat> I think we need to really take all of our footage back and look at it and really review it and go through a complete review process and, and truly try to help this family out. Other than what we experienced, here's one thing. We might have caught something on camera that we, we could maybe recognize something or we might pick up on something that happened or that we heard. Um, so that's why we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna finish off this investigation uh, for the night at least. I'm gonna go ahead and text the family and, and tell them that we are leaving their house. We're gonna lock the door. And uh, if you want, get this video to 12,000 likes <clears throat> and we will come back here and we will spend the night with permission from the owner. So uh, again, I don't wanna really make this video more about us, but if you would like to see us stay overnight, uh, we will ask permission. Um, I was joking around with Sonny about staying the night earlier, but um, Dude, you know, just trying we're to... still sitting here, that, that light, light is still flickering. Flicker. That's weird, isn't it? That is really strange. So um, let me know what you all think in the comments below. Again, uh, go to go visit the ridge again it's an awesome product and if you also want this motivated t-shirt go to shopmotivated.com for all that i love you all so much thank you for supporting and subscribing to my channel we're over 200,000 subscribers and i appreciate you each and every single one of you actually we'll see you all next time don't forget get to 12,000 we'll come back